So this PHP script defines some constants and those constants cannot change throughout the lifetime of the program. Now with variables, they have variableness. So A is equal to 40 and then I could change A to have a string value. So the values change, even the data types, the values change. So the variables are called variables because their values vary. However, once you define a constant, it remains the same constant throughout the entire lifespan of the application. So here I have defined a constant and this constant is named person. Now you'll see this a lot with constants. They will be all capitalized and they contain a value. And also you'll notice they don't start with the dollar symbol because that symbolizes a variable. We're working with constants, so we don't have the dollar symbol in there. And this is equal to an array. We have a string that is person. We have the number that is 200. And we have the Boolean value, which will be true and false. But you could have any value and any combination. You can have arrays inside of arrays. But once these arrays have been set in memory, they cannot change. They just can't change. Now, likewise, there's another way you can define a constant, which you can say define by using the define function with capital D. And we're defining the constant office. And this, again, contains an array. Now, this is what's new in PHP 7. PHP 7 allows us to define a constant using the define function as an array. Now, previously, using the define function, you could only define a constant with a primitive value, such as a string or a number and so forth. It doesn't have to be an array. So, in our case, we can actually do this now in PHP 7. It's not a big wow and it's not a huge feature, but it is available. So now you have both options to you. You can define an array constant like this, or you can define an array constant like this. It's entirely your choice. There's no right or wrong way. It's just the way you prefer. So if we take a look at this in the browser, you'll be able to see I'm echoing out these right here, this array and also this array. You'll also notice in JSON encode, I'm targeting the array that I want to encode, which is my constant. So I've got person and office. Again, the naming convention is all caps, which is a good idea. And you'll notice instead of putting JSON pretty print like so, which now you should know that this is a constant. It's simply a keyword that points to a value that never changes. And the value that this constant actually stores is the number 128. So I could write JSON underscore pretty underscore print, or I could actually type out the value that's within that constant 128. And it does exactly the same job of formatting the JSON in a nice way.